Dude, I like I like Caleb, man. Caleb Farley, I like a lot. He's he's technically sound in all facets of the game. But if we can't get him, Asante Samuels, man, right there. Trey White, Asante Samuels. Yo, let let the old dogs on the line go get him. But if you add Asante Samuels and you get a Ronnie Perkins in the second, is this thing on? Yo, we'd kill the game. <laughs> Yo, would we kill the game? I would be super excited, man, if we could get that. So um, big things, man. Big things. A lot of these things are not realistic. Who said that? John, I like that. John's like, yo, window shopping is nice, but a lot of this is not realistic. Absolutely. Listen, who said it? Joe Marino said it. I mean, at the end of the day, the best mock drafters in the world maybe get 10 or 11 picks right every year, 12, 13 maybe. If you, if you really do well, most people get less than 10 correct. So nobody's good at this. N nobody, <laughs> Nobody's good at and making mock drafts um, in – so it's challenging. I mean, making predictions is hard about the future, right? Like it's it's not easy to do, especially when there's dominoes. Like if you predict one thing to happen and it doesn't, well, it sets off a domino effect that throws off your entire mock draft. Last year with the offensive tackles, we knew five were going to go in the first round, but we didn't know what order they were going to go in. So right. if you didn't have Andrew Thomas as the first one to the Giants, your whole thing was screwed up. So it's challenging. I, I don't pretend to be good at it. Um, and I don't think anybody is, but you try to do the best you can, uh, have a good process and, and how you get to conclusions and, and go from there. We could be way off. We might have JOK as a top 10 pick and he falls to 30. It's all a whole bunch of bullshit until the picks are made. But a lot of these mock drafts are unrealistic. I saw, I saw somebody said, look what I did. I traded back and I picked this guy, this guy, this guy, you know, that shit ain't going to happen. It is what it is though. It's fun. That's what it comes down to. It's fun. But a brother can dream. A brother can dream. So bring me Ali McNeil. Ronnie, let me put my shit up again. Because to me, I, I was like, yo, if we could, if we somehow found a way to bring Zaven Collins, Malafonwu, Ali McNeil, you know what I'm saying? And found some way to bring in Ronnie Perkins on that bitch. I know that's not, that's impossible. Shit. And look at, I got Jalen Darden on the bottom. And then you bring the Buffalo, U, the Buffalo, the UB running back, Jared Patterson. Bring a little bit of old lineman into this. Yo, that could be that would be a money draft. Could you imagine if the Bills drafted that very, that very draft right there? <laughs> Crazy. 